So here is our two-dimensional paper cutting techniques uh, handout and this is the kinds of stuff that you're going to want to add. So if you were in class we would say that you should be trying to get three of these. And I think the three that I'm going to focus on here is the positive and negative space, which I'll talk about in just a minute, exploding, um, hole punching, and I might try and get a couple more on here, but let's see what happens. So here's my base paper with my title on there of the country. Here is the Arc de Triomphe. And I'm going to start. So one of the first things that I am going to do is cut along my major lines that I have. So like right here. And this is where I'm going to do the explode. So <clears throat> when I glue this down, and I'll do this one down here also for you, I have the the top of my building, then I'm going to leave a little tiny space for the piece that's a little wider, and then I'm going to glue this piece down, leaving a little space. So I'm just pulling apart my building along the lines that go all the way across, like so. All right, I've got one more here. Um, I'm going to cut across all of my lines right now simply to see that I have enough room because I might need to make some adjustments. <clears throat> so for now I'm just going to leave it like that and that fits just like that. But I'm not going to glue it down yet. So I have Explode which is here pulling that apart. And now I'm going to look at um, some positive and negative spaces. So on my original picture here, we have in these little parts here, and I don't know how well you can see that, there are sculptures. They are relief sculptures, unlike these sculptures, which are more three-dimensional. So I can't make those sculptures here in this little cut paper project, so I am actually going to cut, if I can't pick it up, I'm going to cut those pieces out. And I am saving all of my scraps in case I need them. I do have more paper also, but I'm hoping I won't need to grab another piece of paper. All right, so I cut out those where those sculptures would be. Okay, um, and now that is negative space. It's the hole. So I have two techniques done. And then if I wanted to, oh my goodness, are these going to fit down here? Oh, they're too short. Um, but I do have my scrap paper over here. So I can measure, all right, and I can mark, I should mark that. I think my pencil rolled away. Here we go. I'm going to mark this. And they're the same size because I used a ruler, so I can just bend this in half. Cut. And cut. And then I would end up gluing these down on here. And the reason those go there, again, is because that is the pedestal that the sculpture is on. It kind of juts out. So that's the bottom part here. Now from here, some other things that I might want to do. I happen to have a hole punch at home. So I'm going to hole punch these out of this paper. I could hole punch my scrap paper and glue on top, or I can again just hole punch through this paper and just leave it this way. Again, you are creating different layers of paper. You don't always have to build up. You can also cut down into your things, which is what this hole punch is going to do. 
All right, so those are the little round pieces that are up here. Okay, so I'm not really sure in my picture, let me grab that one more time, you can actually see into the interior here and you can see there's arcs here that you can go through. So do I want to have those or do I not? That is the question. Will you not be able to read what my picture is? Well, I'm going to try it, so I'm going to cut this piece and again I'm just going to explode it a little bit so I'm going to leave a little bit of room I'm going to do the same thing down here like so so that would give me that interior piece and for the little arc that's in there I'm just going to cut that out and I just realized all this stuff is not on the screen for you okay so there we are for these pieces and I think I am ready to start gluing all of this down um, I will also come back and show you how you can use your glue to add some extra details on here so I'll be right back So I have my building on here now, and I was going to show you the last thing that you can do is to use your glue. So I am going to just squeeze out, you know, this is glue, well, clear. I guess we're going to have to use it. And I'm going to kind of just put some glue down over here, right on top. I hope you can see a little bit of that. And this is going to be my sculptures that are here. All right, so any kind of little details that you really can't cut out of paper, you can go ahead and add on with glue. That is the last step. So now I need to wait for this to dry, and then we're gonna do a crayon rubbing. So this is not uh, the same kind of printing that we would do if you were in the class, because we would use ink. And if we were doing that, then France would then print backwards because it's a mirror image, but we're not, so we are okay with the way it is right now. So. Next video will be on doing the crayon rubbing itself.